What is up everyone, Crunchy Frog here, and we are back with part two of our Mastery Camo Grind kind of review and, and guide series here. Now, in our last video, we broke down every single challenge that you'll need to do in order to get all of the base camos in the game for all of the weapons. Now, this video will take it the next step further. Assuming you have all four of the base camos, you now unlock the Gilded Camo, which is this game's version of the Gold Camo for each gun. So again, in order to start Start any of these you will need to have all four base camos unlocked for each weapon and in order to find out what you need to do for those camos make sure to check out my previous video in this series that goes over all of those challenges what's difficult what's easy and uh, basically some tips and tricks in order to complete those so again in this video we'll talk about all the challenges that you need to do in order to get gold for every gun in the game and uh, I'll break down some of the difficult challenges some of the easy ones along the way as well as give you some tricks so if you enjoyed this type of video make sure to leave a like it helps a lot more people find the channel and if you enjoy content like this and would like to see more make sure to click the subscribe button and as always if you would like to support the channel monetarily make sure to click the join button down below to become a member of the channel and re receive exclusive rewards so with that all out of the way let's get right down to it so the first class that we're going to go over today is the assault rifle gilded challenges now these remain the same across every single assault rifle in the game uh, they all share the same challenge so um, we're just going to go over it and uh, you know like I said every assault rifle that you get it'll all get this exact same challenge in order to get gold so the challenge for assault rifles is get three kills in one magazine 10 times now the first thing I'll say is as of recording this video at least when I went through and got all these uh, you know challenges and these camos it tracked insanely weird like it, it, as with everything in this game the challenges don't quite track correctly or maybe they're misworded uh, whatever the case may be it, it's a little bit up in the air um, my the what worked best for me was to reload immediately after that third kill so initially there were some reports i know jeff talked about it that if you got four or five six seven eight kills in one magazine that it just kept stacking and you would get you know multiple of these uh, challenges done you know multiple of the 10 times that you needed to happen um so i tried doing that and then I found out that it, it, it kind of worked once or twice, but then after a couple of days or weeks, they seemingly patched it. And it was almost like if you got more than three kills in one magazine, it, it would just blank it and, and it wouldn't count it at all. So you wouldn't get credit for it if you got maybe four kills in one magazine instead of just three. So I end up just reloading. I'd get th the third kill and reload immediately. And that seemed to help. But again, there was also several times where I would just like, you know, spawn in, get one kill, and then the challenge would complete. Or it would give me credit, you know, one towards that those 10 times. So it was really weird. Sometimes it wouldn't count. You know, the uh, three kill streaks that you did get. Other times it would give you random credit for other kills that you got. It doesn't make much sense. Really, uh, you know, it sounds like it might just give it to you eventually, anyways. So just go out there, try to get three kills without dying in one magazine, then reload. And uh, that's the best way to reliably get it. Just bear in mind, sometimes it won't track and sometimes it will give you some bonus ones and, uh, you know, give you a little help there. So uh, that's really the best way I can describe uh, it, challenges in this game are just broken. <laughs> we talked about that in the last video and we're going to talk about it probably the rest of this series as well in my platinum and priceless uh, video as well. So, you know, it is what it is, but uh, overall, not a very difficult challenge. I definitely recommend hardcore just because, you know, uh, it's easier to get several kills in one magazine, especially with the time to kill in normal core this year. So definitely recommend hardcore and I recommend high round clips. You know, most assault rifles have a 40, a 50, a 60 round drum mag of some sorts. Definitely use those. Obviously, that gives you more bullets to get more kills in a single magazine. So that about wraps it up for assault rifles. Uh, like I said, not that hard of a challenge. Um, pretty much anyone can do it and uh, the game is just terrible at tracking it so you know have some patience along the way next up is the smg category and this is an extremely easy and straightforward challenge you just need to get 10 kills without being damaged so 
Uh, again, you literally just have to kill someone without them damaging you whatsoever, which happens all the time, right? <laughs> you know, a good portion of your kills every match are going to be this where you get the jump on somebody or they're looking somewhere else or you flank them, something like that. Um, so just play the game organically and this is bound to happen. You don't really have to try for this in any specific way. Uh, it's one of the quickest challenges in the game. You'll probably get it within one match. Uh, you know, you might be able to get several within the same match, uh, depending on, you know, how good you are at the game. And once again, hardcore is slightly easier, but it's not necessary this time around. You know, obviously killing people quicker with less chance for them to fire back helps this challenge. But honestly, you're bound to get so many of these types of kills per match that it's not really necessary. Um, it, there is the possibility that this also tracks weird or doesn't track at all sometimes. I just didn't notice it because it's such an easy challenge. So uh, this should be one that you guys get pretty quickly. And uh, even the worst Call of Duty player will find themselves with a gold SMG in absolutely no time at all. Next up, we have Battle Rifles, and for this category, it's the same as Assault Rifles. You just need three kills in one magazine. Uh, the only difference being a lot of the Battle Rifles have slightly smaller magazines, so make sure to, again, if you have an extended mag, um, you know, equip the biggest extended mag you can, maybe play hardcore to you know, push the odds in your favor. But again, these tracked just as poorly as the Assault Rifles does. Um, so... Sometimes it won't track, sometimes it'll track extra for you. Just keep plugging away, try to reload after that third kill, and uh, you know, keep grinding at it, and it's, uh, it's pretty easy overall. Next up, we have the shotgun category, and this is a pretty unique challenge. I was kind of uh, perplexed the first time I saw it, but you need to get two kills shortly after sprinting in one life. So it's kind of long-winded, but it is straightforward to the point in the term of, you know, it it's exactly as it says you need to get two kills right after you just got done sprinting before you die um and again it's possible with the tracking of this you know there's a couple of times where i'd only get one kill and it'd give it to me you know whatever the case may be that's just kind of how this game is but this one seemed to track a little more reliably than the three kills in one magazine did um, there's also a pretty generous time window here, so it's not like you have to immediately do it. There seems to be like a second or two second delay too, um, so you can sprint, you know, you have that sprint out time uh, that your weapon has, and then you're able to fire. Um, so it gives you, you know, a nice little cushion. It's not insane, you can't run and then 30 seconds later, you know, kill somebody and it still counts, but... It's at least forgiving enough for this not to be super frustrating. Um, I recommend adding a lot of sprint out time improvement attachments and stuff like that. A lot of aim down sight speed attachments that can kind of help along with this because that enables you to use more of that little uh, time window, you know, actually firing the weapon. Again, hardcore might be easier because these are all pretty much one shot kills no matter what. But shotguns as a whole, they're not too terrible, um, and you should be able to kill somebody in that time that this challenge allows you after sprinting. Um, I also noticed that, like we talked about above, where if you got more than you know three kills in one life, you know, sometimes it would track, sometimes it would actually break it. This one did seem to track pretty well, so if you got you know four kills after sprinting in one life, it would count for two of these um etc etc and i think you have to do this 10 times <laughs> i forgot to put it in my notes here for the script but i do believe you have to do this specific challenge 10 times um and obviously shipment made this a breeze i could see how some of the maps especially some of the larger maps um in the base game it could make for a pretty difficult challenge but i played this on shipment i think or rust uh were the two maps that uh were kind of in rotation while i was doing these challenges and uh they were pretty easy uh you know obviously you see people a lot quicker um stuff like that so overall pretty easy challenge for the shotguns and next up we have the lmgs now this is a pretty unique challenge i like that they tailored it really well to what the light machine gun class is kind of meant for and that's get two kills without releasing the trigger 10 times and again super straightforward you have to shoot two people and kill them without leaving go of the trigger so, you know, just keep holding it down and manage to get two kills. It seemed to track really well. This is one of the challenges that, that didn't really BS you or, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, kind of just break 
<laughs> halfway through trying to go for the challenge. So um, this one seems a little more reliable than the other ones. Obviously, uh, hardcore is recommended here since you can kill people in one or two bullets as opposed to four, five, six bullets each. It just makes, you know, those double kills, those quick double kills even easier. Um, I recommend small maps just because people will be much more grouped together there depending on your skill base bracket uh, some of the other maps people tend to travel alone or you know strategically place themselves a lot better so if you play on a small map a lot of that is wiped out they're just kind of grouped up whether it be from spawn or whatever the case may be uh, once again and some of the yes, um, lmgs have you know different size clips uh, from one another i definitely equip again you know a larger mag that way you could just keep firing you know keep holding it down and and one of the things that worked for me and i've seen a lot of other people too you can always tell when people are going for the gilded lmgs um, because they'll just be firing for like 20 seconds straight um, but what would work for me is i would get a kill and i would just keep holding it down kind of regardless maybe fire an extra 20 or you know so bullets um, just on the off chance that somebody walked up and i tell you sometimes you feel stupid sometimes you look stupid doing it um, but at the end of the day, I was able to get a bunch of kills that maybe I didn't see that other guy because he was off camera. He was off to the side, you know, around the corner, whatever the case may be. But because I kept firing in that small, you know, couple millisecond time window, he then emerged. I was still firing. I was able to lock onto him, kill him without releasing the thing. I got the challenge. So, um, you know, if you only wait until you physically see two people and start firing, you're not going to get that many kills. So every time you get a kill, just, you know, roll the dice and keep that trigger held down to see if you can snag another one along the way. Uh, so once again, pretty easy challenge for that. Um, pretty well themed. I like that, that it tied directly into what LMGs are typically used for even in real life, you know, that kind of suppressive fire, holding down a trigger, stuff like that. Um, so super cool there. And it's pretty easy. Like I said, you know, it's, it's not too hard to get, and you don't have to adapt your play style, um, unless you consider maybe firing a couple more bullets than you would otherwise, uh, drastically changing your play style. Next up, we have the marksman rifle categories, and this has to be by far the easiest goal challenge, and if not one of the easiest mastery challenges uh, in this game, if not of all time. Literally, you know, no BS, 10 kills with an attachment on the gun. In this case, it's a laser. So, <laughs> you know, for all of you that can get more than 10 kills in a match, this is a one match challenge per gun. If you're getting 20, 30, 40 kills in a match, especially on some of the smaller maps, I mean, you're talking about, you might be able to finish the entire marksman category in one match. It's that easy. There's, it tracked really well for me. You know, it didn't miss out on anything. You don't have to do anything special. You just have to put a laser on, which nine times out of 10 helps you, especially if you pick the right laser. Um, you know, it's not something that's going to affect your play style or make you worse or anything like that. Just put a laser on. You most likely won't even realize it. you notice it, you know, go out, get 10 kills. You're done with it. So super easy. Um, like I said, possibly one of the easiest mastery camo challenges of all time. Next up, we have the sniper rifle categories. Um, this is, again, very well themed for the weapon class in my mind, and it's get 10 kills while focused, which means when you know when you hold your breath. So when you're scoped down uh, with a sniper rifle, it comes up and says, you know, press left stick if you're on console, you know, to, to hold your breath or whatever the key bind is on uh, mouse and keyboard. And you're, you kind of hold your breath and your sight kind of stay steady instead of moving around with the idle sway um, and you have to get kills while doing this uh, i found this extremely easy again um, even if you just click in that that stick or press that button on the keyboard for you know like a, a half a second before you kill somebody it counts so you don't even have to like hold your breath for like three seconds before you kill someone so um, you know, you do have to quote unquote hard scope a little more so than normal. Um, so you have to plan those engagements accordingly, right? You can't just go running around the map as easily, um, but it's still pretty generous. So you don't have to just hold the sight line for, you know, 35 minutes <laughs> while you're, you're holding your breath in order to get a kill here. Pretty much at the moment that your guy goes <gasps> and like holds his breath, it counts. So a uh, pretty, pretty quick window of time there. Uh, again, quick scoping or no scoping won't work, but uh, at the very least, it's not too rough. Um, 
And also a, a disclaimer here, make sure that you do have a scope equipped that supports holding breath because a lot of the red dot sites, stuff like that, do not. So plan that out accordingly. I think I used the four times optic, which still had, you know, you had to hold your breath or you were able to hold your breath with, but it was a little easier to aim down sight and see more of the battlefield. I don't like using the high powered scope. So, um, you know, that's my only real tip for that. Again, pretty easy challenge, all things considered. And last up, finally, we have the pistol category. And for the pistols, you need to get 10 kills without taking damage, which, again, same as the SMGs. Um, hardcore for this one is almost imperative. You know, it's almost completely necessary. Pistols are kind of bad in normal games, but they are absolute monsters in hardcore. So hop into hardcore, get 10 kills without the enemy killing or damaging you at all which is, again, pretty easily. It'll just happen organically, and you have yourself gilded camo for a pistol. So that about wraps it up for all the weapons in the game. Now, I, I mentioned in my last video, I did all of these without the launcher and without the melee category, just because they released enough guns by the time that I got that far that I could get 36 priceless challenges without ever having to use a melee weapon and without having to use a launcher. So if you're, you know, if you're watching the video now in 2024, um, you can do the same thing. You don't have to use those weapon categories. And that's just why I didn't uh, cover them here. You know, I didn't use them. I didn't go through his challenges. So I don't have much to review or commentate on um, for those weapons. So apologize about that but realistically your life will be a lot easier if you don't even look at those categories anyways so um kind of an overview i mean they were very easy to obtain gold uh pretty much at any skill level like the you know we talked about last video how the most difficult part of the entire grind in my mind is the weapon leveling you know the several hours it takes for you even with double xp to level the weapon up to you know, max level to be able to begin the mastery camo grind. And, uh, that, you know, once you get to that plateau and you have max level, I mean, getting gold is extremely easy, like, especially for marksman rifles. I know I hated using marksman rifles cause they're terrible, but <laughs> all you need to get gold on those is get 10 kills with a random, you know, with a laser attachment. So, um, the, all of these go by super quick and, you know, if you can push yourself to level the weapon up to max level, get all the base camos out of the way, um, that we talked about in the last video, these camo challenges will fly right by. Um, and there's no, you know, none of these challenges are like an impossible hurdle or something that you look upon and be like, Oh God, I, I don't even want to think about that. You know, like on the horizon, um, it's all super, super, super easy stuff that you could just roll through. Um, and they seem to almost be made purposely f such that pretty much everyone that hops in will be able to get gold on their favorite weapons or weapons that they enjoy using. Um, and in my mind, the, the camo itself looks very good. I know that it, I love that it looks unique after, you know, all these several years back to back of gold camo looking slightly different, maybe kind of the, the same as the year before it. Um, but this one kind of stands out, you know, like the circular pattern, stuff like that. Obviously, they didn't call it gold this time. They call it, it gilded, trying to set it apart um, from Modern Warfare 2 and the guns that are also in the game. So, um, but I think they did a great job with the looks of it. Uh, it looks great on pretty much every weapon and a lot of the special blueprints as well. Um, I, I think that this gold camo grind specifically is a very fun way to say that you got a mastery camo of some sort, right? You know, maybe for those that never really wanted to go through the process of getting gold in a lot of the previous games, this game is possibly the easiest one for you to finally get out there and say you've gotten at least one level of the mastery camo grind done. Get yourself some gold weapons, something to show off in the lobby, something to be proud of, because it's pretty easy. It's only a few hours of gameplay or less, um, depending on how long it takes you to level the weapon itself up. So, it, you know, even if you're not great at the game or you're new to the COD series in general, just find the weapon that you like and uh, you should be able to get gold, right? You know, before that was kind of something unobtainable unless you were uh, really into grinding or really good at the game. That's no longer the case. Pretty much anyone can get gold. It's, you know, those upper tiers that uh, begin to show dedication and skill level. And we'll talk about those in the future videos coming up. Um, 
And one of the other cool things is none of these challenge categories are hampered by a specific weapon. I think we talked about one or two weapons last video that really made some of the challenges like near impossible. Um, just because of their stats or how they handled or, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, that was not the case for any of these gold challenges. Um, all of them, you know, you could do with any weapon and it was just, a, you know, obviously some weapons do still suck, right? We, we you know, um, not every gun is, you know, created equal. The balancing isn't 100% in this game. So some challenges are going to be more difficult by proxy just because the guns themselves suck. But no gun or none of these challenges specifically make certain guns harder to do the challenges themselves, if that makes any sense. Um you know, and, and really none of these make you change your play style whatsoever, apart from maybe the focus challenge, uh, because, you know, you have to change up, you know, your kind of line of sight. You maybe can't run and gun as much as a lot of people like to do with sniper rifles these days. Um, and then maybe the LMGs, but again, you're just holding down the fire button another couple seconds longer than you would have otherwise. And especially if you're playing on like shipment, you probably won't have to change anything about your play style. Um, people will just walk into your line of fire. So, um, yeah, none of these make you, and, and that's one of the things that I hate about camo grinds is when I have to completely change my play style or makes me play the game in a way that's just not fun. Um, and so I was super relieved to see that none of these challenges make you do that. You can just play the game more or less how you wanted to before. And, uh, you know, you still get the challenges. And I definitely recommend, like I was saying before, if you're a casual fan, if you've never went for gold or you never went for diamond or platinum or any of those, uh, this is the game to try and the gold camo specifically is the one to try it still looks great it's still something to brag about and show off um, you know to show that uh, that you played enough and and that you tried um, but it's not the crazy insane mountain to overcome that it has been in previous years so that about wraps up my thoughts on the gold camo grind here let me know down below your thoughts on all these challenges um, you know were you able to get any gold guns this year in modern war for three and uh you know basically let me know your thoughts on the entire camo grind as a whole uh once again if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like as it greatly helps the channel make sure you're subscribed for future call of duty content including modern warfare 3 news and guides and uh yeah if you would like to support the channel make sure to click the join button so until next time guys this has been crunchy frog i'll catch you guys later